morning everybody welcome to Tuesdays with Maury and here I am with Maury Glazier and we always do what Tuesdays with Maury tax tips so don't turn it off don't hit that stop button when I talk about taxes because there's still something we need to know about and you know what he makes taxes fun because you don't have to stress and that's very powerful right Maury that's correct and uh, I think the big issue really is more than I think about it this fellow that I was talking about that uh, had the big tax problem, whatever. When he told me that his wife had cirrhosis of the liver and uh, she had uh, uh, immune uh, deficiency and that she, she only had 10 years to live and she was 34 years of age, I said, okay, throw out all the planning, forget the IRS, you gotta go back, you gotta get your wife and you move to a city where you can get the health care, and let's try to see if we can't keep her around longer than 10 years. Uh, I mean, they got four or five, six kids, um, and... So you're not just a tax expert, tax accountant, guru, you're also a counselor. And, and, and absolutely. <laughs> the whole you, package. you got to be a psychologist in doing that. Cause convince people that they really need to be filing their tax, and they really got to be uh, paying their tax is a little bit tough. Like I told him, okay, here's what the plan is. In order to give my tax manager some real ammunition, you're going to start paying $5,000 a month to the IRS. Even though we don't know what you owe, that'll give him some emphasis when he talks to them, when they call you about the $250,000 you owe, that he'll say, we know we owe the tax, we're paying $5,000 a month, but we got these big medical problems, we have all these uh, problems taking care of the kids because the mother is sick, um, been in the hospital on and off, and, but we're going to get it paid. We're going to sell our house. We're going to pay the tax, and we're going to we're, we're going to get this taken care of. Uh, the IRS tends to listen to that kind of procedure. I, you, I think I, you know not to cut you off, which I just did. That's <laughs> I, okay. The, you know when you have a mitigating circumstance like that with a, a family crisis and with health, you know, issue of course with his wife, that's going to become first priority, and the children of course to take care of them. But yet you have a tax issue, so it has to be tended to, right? But when you have an expert in a law, you know, quite frankly, a firm as yours that knows the law of the taxes and knows the parameters, keeps you in what compliance by at least paying something towards it, not knowing what the total is going to be, it does show that they cared enough to hire a professional to work with to, to stay whole. Well, my tax manager is Canadian. He has a very, very different way of operating than myself. I tend to be a real bull in the china shop. <laughs> And over the years, I always used to go in and just blast away. Uh, today, you have to sort of feel sorry for the IRS people because they're not used to working, and they're, the staff is depleted, so that's a two-edged sword, right? You don't have enough people, and you don't want to work anyway. Um, and, and you're sitting there. You've got to have a compelling reason for them to listen to your story. And, and we have a procedure. We have 15... We have 30 employees in Dallas, two in San Antonio, and 20 up in Illinois, and 15 of the 30 people in Dallas are accountants, maybe more, more than 15, but some of the accountants don't really do tax returns. But interestingly, the, the 15 people, uh, my real issue is the fact that they're all senior people. We don't have very, we have very few beginners, so it makes it very difficult, uh, both with salaries, and whatever. The good news is they're all making enough. I don't have to worry about the stupid time and a half that we're going to have to start paying people if they make the $45,000 or whatever that number is. So, so you have to have a plan. And, and my tax manager, Gary Shearling, has a plan. He sweet talks these agents into believing that he's going to, he's going to make the client uh, compliant. You know, start paying and then when he gets to the final edge, he says, okay, we've been paying 5000 a month, and we know we owe, the client owes 200000 and it's going to take forever to pay it off. But we're going to start at 5000 we're going to try to get him up to 10000 and we want a five-year program to get that done. And it's interesting how the IRS turns around and says, okay, we can work with that. Well, you're they see, making an effort. Yeah, you're making an effort. It does show, you know, good faith, which is the same thing of, of actually, you know, contacting from the start. If you've had bank accounts and you didn't file that you had bank accounts in a foreign country, uh, and you needed, now you know, thanks to you know Tuesdays with Maury and tax tips, 
that, you know, that in fact needs to be done, with a conversation with them, they can be on, they can be more gentle, knowing that at least you're making an effort to just get it all right. And and, and it's interesting how, you know, this this fellow actually I met him off, offshore two three years ago, and I had told him let's do some planning, let's get it going. In 18 months, he built his business, and in the 19th month, 19th month. He sold the business for over a million dollars. So business 18 months and he sold it. There was no reason for him to take all his cash and buy a million dollar house. So if he had done planning, we would have had the tax paid. We wouldn't have the issues that we have. So most of it has to do with planning. You gotta, In advance. Got, got to look at it. Uh, he, what, he, he's talking about he, he was going to use the house for a vacation house that he was going to rent. And then he was going to take it, him, his wife, and his four or five kids because she's really not going to live very long. And he wanted to go to Europe and travel out of out of the, out of the country. And I told him, I said, just think, if you'd really thought about it, you'd have gone to whatever the favorite country you wanted to go, or whatever we decided was the best place to go. You could have worked for a while, established residency, uh, all your income that you made uh, with the foreign earned income credit, you could get almost a hundred. I think it's a hundred one thousand uh, dollar credit against your income that you earned, even though it was coming from off from the United States, and and we'd have had a good tax plan. You wouldn't have to pay these big pay. You don't have to pay Social Security. Uh, we could have written off most of your travel expenses. We could have done all kinds of nifty things to put you in better shape. So those nifty things are worth finding out. Make a phone call. Contact Maury Glazier. He'll help you. And in fact, if you want to even call his cell phone, he actually answers his cell phone. Yeah, <laughs> and absolutely. I know that. It's lovely. And, you know, the kind of man that you are is indicative. I mean, here we're having the grand opening of Keller Williams in Belize, which is very exciting. We're very thrilled about that. And I'm thrilled to be part of that. But, you know, Maury, you came in. You have expat clients, uh, people that live in Belize that are from the North Americas, or from the United States, and need tax help. So it was a great trip to come in. Great business trip to come to Belize, right? Well, I, had, <laughs> you know, I probably have 20 clients down here, yep. and the one client that you have, their house up for sale, yep. asked me, when they knew I was coming, they asked me to please go by and look at their house and make sure it was okay, which is something you do very well. How lovely. To make sure that things are going along and, you know, trying to get the house sold and it's clean and no one's tearing it up and yep. that kind of they stuff. are so lovely yeah they're, so, they're just beautiful and they did they did call me and ask me <laughs> i said how did you find out said, well you talk a lot so we knew you were coming to believe <laughs> i can't imagine anyone saying that maury glazer talks a lot <laughs> it's it's hard for us to do a show together because we're always like trying to bat each other <laughs> well the, the real it's just i don't know the tax guru tips so he's got the whole show <laughs> the real key to everything is, and i think you and i have the both both the same attitude Service, service, service. What can we do to help people to get established? How can we make it seamless? And how can we both go forward and make sure not only the client has the money to buy the house, but that after he buys it, he doesn't use every dollar and can't afford to make sure that they're not compliant. It's it, it's a real it's a real pleasure working with someone like you because you have the same attitude in a different field that I have. So. As we're looking at things, we're constantly planning what the move is, like Kenny and uh, Dory. Oh, yes. Uh, you know, he's buying that big catamaran and lives on the... In Belize. In Belize. Belize. And uh, I'm talking about doing a program uh, where we got my Mexican reporters coming down and inviting 30, 40, 50 people to come to an event, have a bunch of speakers, and take them out on the boat. And whatever so we're we're talking about doing a whole bunch of things and to show them because they bought a big catamaran I, I know you know that yep uh, and, and it worked very successfully in Puerto Vallarta and uh, I think they're going to do the same thing down here with, with so that, that's actually that shows a synchronicity you know here I had a client that was moving to Belize wonderful couple I did House Hunters International with them what a great show in Hopkins with them fantastic people and I was like okay before you move I need you to talk to the tax gentleman because you're having a business that you're selling in the states you're moving to Belize I'm not sure what all that means as far as tax parameters for you because that's their business and I'm not the tax guru I said please give Maury a call here's his phone number and here's his email and you know it's kind of like a doctor gives you a prescription it's up to you to 
to take the <laughs> take the medicine? They did. They were like, oh no, let's talk to him and find out ahead of time. And you completely have set them up to succeed, and they have had a great journey here in Belize. And and, and they're gonna they're gonna do very well in their new venture. Yeah. And they, you know they're gonna be compliant. There's not gonna be some of the issues that a lot of people run into. And uh, I, I I just you know when you do your planning, you, you're gonna have a very effective transition. Uh, I have clients in Costa Rica. I have that other client, client in Panama who, who really has been telling me he wants to talk to you, but the oil industry fell apart. It <laughs> did. And, and he really wants you to Wait, sell come back. Okay. I can help him. I know you can. <laughs> we can help him. Anyway. Uh, just helped someone buy a property in Panama recently. So, yeah, we can help him. Let's help someone sell one, too. No, he's reducing the price. Oh, well, we can help them, too. <laughs> The gorgeous house. You, you saw the picture. I did see the picture. So, you know, that is part of what's interesting to me about anything to do with when you leave the United States, the international sector. You know, you have the taxes, you have the real estate, you have the expats, you have the, the living together. It really helps to have really good people that have your best interests at heart that are willing to be honest and frank with you. And that's obviously where we come from is, is a value and service. And and we need to do like that guy on, on, on that other channel where we talk about real estate, we got to have our photographer take a picture, walk in two houses, talk to them about mortgaging, whatever. I think it would be a nifty program. We could do a reality show. <laughs> it would be an interesting reality show with us, wouldn't it? Right. <laughs> we'll, bring our, we'll bring our dear friend Lewis in and that's it. It'll be a show that everybody will tune in for. <laughs> Hey, I've been thinking about that. Today. I don't know if you saw that guy. Stay he, tuned, everybody. You're not. You might not. Be, coming up soon. Like, you might be coming up soon. It will be the uh, Tuesdays with Maury, fun with Lewis, and Macarena corralling the guys. <laughs> yeah, your personality is great, and uh, I appreciate uh, being with you and talking about all that we talk about. Uh, I think that we have a real place in this world to make sure pe people need to be thinking about what they should be doing and how they should be doing it. Frankly, when I moved to Belize in 2004, I knew nothing about, you know, the things that you've been teaching on this show. And, you know, there are things that would have been fabulous to know ahead of time. And, you know, open up a corporation, okay, well, what's the parameters of that? Am I going to buy a property in a corporation? Well, you know, I need to know those things. Now, after what, almost, you know, 13 years of helping people do all of this and watching people not do things seamlessly, and seeing the, the, the repercussion of that is why, you know, Maureen and I decided in January of 2016 to say, you know what, let's take, you know, our, our let's take our Tuesdays and have Tuesdays with Maury, which I happen to love, hope you do too, to help people get some information that they didn't go, oh, I never thought about that, or wow, my account's not helping me with this, I need to have this conversation. Yeah, 90% of the accountants, uh, tax preparers, even people who call themselves international tax attorneys, there's not a lot of information, and half the information that they give is incorrect. Well, unfortunately, like even in the highway bill, they snuck some things in there. No one's going to really think to go look in the highway bill that there's something to do with taxes. And in Obamacare. And Obamacare, too. And you shared all of that on the shows with us, in yeah. previous shows. And everybody should know that there's an additional 3.8% tax uh, that people have to pay on capital get, excuse me, capital gains because of Obamacare. And it was passed three, four years ago. And here all of a sudden it raises our ugly head and we gotta pay more taxes. So uh, God willing we'll get all that stuff under control and change uh, going into the future. Because it's it's really very expensive paying the amount of taxes that people want us to pay. So Anyway. Again, these things are the things to know ahead of time, not later. <laughs> and, and, and if people have issues, they really need to pick up the phone or look on my website, glazerfinancial.com or expattaxexpert.net or YouTube or whatever. I'm, I'm all over the place. And you can look at seminars that I've done. You can, you can hear the programs that uh, Matt Arena and I have done. And it'll give you a ton of information and ideas of what you need to be doing as you're making plans to, to either move or buy rental property or whatever it might be off field. It's, it's very important to try to get as much information as you can beforehand. And uh, of course, I've been doing this a long time, 
Uh, and the problem is most accountants today don't want to spend the time to learn any of these new areas. Well, and quite frankly, if they're doing taxes for people that are living in the North Americas, right, they aren't aware or wanting to do the research for anything other than what they're working on, right? Correct. And they're hyper-focusing on that, which is lovely. You want someone that's hyper-focusing on your international tax situation, and every single person is different. Obviously, you know, one your gentleman that has the money, that has the wife that's ill, it's a different scenario of how you set it up. Um, you know, the scenario of a retired couple moving to Belize or moving to Panama is a whole different kind of structure. And, and, and the real issue is the fact there are people out there that say, have said to me, well, you're charging way too much for that item, uh, the F bar. Uh, we can get it done for $100. The question is, is it going to be correct? into the person that's doing it, is it going to be done in the proper manner, and is it going to get filed, e-filed, and, and a lot of people don't uh, uh, don't know what to do, truthfully, they just throw it together and, you know, hope that that there's not going to be a problem. Uh, like I told a couple different people, hey, the thing about using us is we know it's going to be correct. And right? that's, that is really important, because you've given some advice to some people that we had that were looking for property in Belize, and they went and did some investments in other areas with um, people that weren't vetted, and, and there was huge issues there. Well, what and, do you mean they've lost $5 million? And, well, and I did say huge issues, didn't I? <laughs> I just wasn't going to share that part. There might be more. Uh, well, okay, more. But, you know, to make a... Who, who wants to lose $1? Do it people, right the first time. People want to move offshore and not pay more taxes. And all I can say is that's probably not going to happen. The idea is to move offshore, enjoy your life, and, and just be compliant and pay what taxes you can and thank God that you've earned the money. Because defending yourself is more of an issue. So, anyway, really appreciate everybody tuning in. I'm going to go out to, to all my emails, tell them about Fuzies with Maury, and asking them to notify us. Uh, with questions or whatever. And we like your questions. Thank you for your viewers that and li listeners that have actually been sending in questions. There's not a question that is stupid. They're all important. There's not a question that is an obvious answer because if you're thinking it and you don't know the answer, well, he's got the answer. So send us, keep sending your great questions. We love them. I want to thank you for joining our show, Maury Glazer. As always, I love doing Tuesdays with Maury with you. It's my honor and privilege. And thank you. Absolutely. We do have fun. We hope you enjoy it. And may the rest of your day be the best of your day. Thanks for tuning in. I'm your host, Macarena Rose. See you next Tuesday.